Hello everyone. Welcome to seventh video of talking with your inverter. We are done with the introductory Arduino tips, two three two communications, selecting the modules, and wiring and connection issues. Initially, uh, my plan was that uh, the last video will be on software code and CRC. However, I have realized that. Uh, this will become a very long video so I have decided to split it into four parts for now maybe it will be will go to five but for now it's four parts in the first video of the software side I will do the <coughs> uh, for this video or uh, which is on watch power how to use the software in Windows environment then the second will be on how to do the spying on serial to get the watch power commands and CRC. After that, uh, I will share the Arduino code and uh, the last video I will share the CRC function if you don't uh, want to do the CRC manually. So let's get started with this video which is on watch power. So this watch power is uh, bundled with your uh, inverter so you get this dvd and the software is is generally available along with the dvd but if you don't have that dvd then you can download uh, it from what i have found is it's available at optisolar.com so you can download it from there and uh, what you need to remember is that you need you need to install it as administrator so let's go and find out the download options we have so optisolar.com the first option is 1.14 version and you need to install this version this works for me so this works for me but uh, you need to understand that uh, uh, your inverter may be different and you need to install the other version but uh, first you should try this or the bundled software you have received with your inverter so you can see that i am installing this uh, software and the key is that you should not be running this uh, without administrative powers so if you are a standard user it will give you this error so you have to install this as um, as a administrator and once you uh, install it with administrative rights uh, this software will install correctly so you can see that uh, this has started installing and uh, it's, it wants to have some network access for the time being i am allowing it and so you have this software in front of you you can see the version is 1.14 and there is mod best uh, mod uh, if your version is correct you should have this mod bus serial setting option available in your first menu this is important because if your version is not correct then you will not have this modbus serial setting option available with you let me show you a glimpse of the other version where this option is not available so this is the wrong version if i go into the menu you will find that uh, this is 1.12 spi something uh, so this is you can see there is no serial mode per settings so but this is the wrong version you need to have a version that allows you to set mod bus so let's try out the usb connection um, which is very simple So this is straightforward. You get the U 
this big connection right away and you can see that all the data is available um, everything is working if I want to change go for the change options um, they are also available so there is, there is no rocket science using the USB version the problem arises when we want to use the uh, serial port so let's uh, have a look at that too so if you don't have a serial port because uh, serial ports are generally available in desktops but they are not available in laptops and notebooks so you need to get a, a usb to rs232 converter and it's very cheap available for three to four dollars um, and then in the software the watch power software what you need to do is you need to allow for scanning of com ports and you need to adjust the modbus settings so in watch power configuration menu you have the second last option com port uh, scanning and you can see here that uh, that i have chosen the options to allow scanned so your com port should be appearing if you have more than one com port that those will be appearing but if you know exactly which number then you be, can be specific but if you don't know the number you should allow all the com ports to be scanned so this is the first setting you need to do but before we adjust the mod per setting let's understand some communication protocol so this is the representation of the protocol this is called 8 and 1 generally this is the standard format most of the software simple software uses and uh, in the manual you can find the standard is baud rate 2400 this is the speed at which at which your uh, Arduino communicates with the inverter or this is the speed that the inverter allows you to communicate right so and then there will be a start bit followed by eight data bits and then there the parity bit is not used because we are using using the CRC I will talk about it later and then there is a stop bit so if you recall when in the hardware section when I was showing you the voltages the current for, from the inverter in the r in the transmitting pin there was minus 8 and minus 14 so this is the standard minus uh, 14 current and then there is a dip the start bit is always at low so when there is a dip in the current the receiver will know that now data will come so after this step you will receive eight data bits it's, it's in binary and it will show one character it will represent one character and then there will be followed by a stop bit the rate at which these bits are transferred is 2400 for this inverter so this is the basic concept which i wanted to share so let's get back to our software now and adjust mod modbus settings in the watch power software so here it is modbus serial settings in this there are three settings you need to do first of all the top option is modbus port you should be clear which port is connected to your inverter so first option is the port you need to choose the correct port number and then the device id because we only have one id one device connected so let's click on the first button now you have to wait when till the time uh, this black tick appears before number one and then you should change the baud rate as we discussed it is 2400 so you have to choose the 2400 baud, baud rate uh, 
and uh, after that you can see that data bits are 8 stop bit is 1 and parity is none so they are standard you don't need to change change these uh, this is uh, enough uh, setting and all you need to do is apply them operation is success so let's have a look at the normal uh, working of serial port uh, as we had a look at the usb connection here you can see that um, we have a com port on the left highlighted and you can see that there are numbers appearing in the boxes so everything is working right now so this is uh, how this works you will identify you will see that your com port and your device number is appearing on the left side or on the left side and every uh, box is filled so this is how if you have a good connection this is how your watch powers shows the uh, numbers from the inverter so this is all for for this video i hope that uh, this will be this will helpful for few of you so uh bye till next video